What's the relationship between the interpupillary distance and your bite strength? Well, surprisingly enough, there's quite a close relationship. People with big, strong, muscular faces have wider faces. And the wider your face is, the greater the distance between your pupils is. Meaning there's quite a good relationship between the interpupillary distance and your muscle strength. Now, of course, a relationship doesn't suggest causation. But there's good reason to believe that there is a causation between this. And anecdotal evidence strongly suggests that when people have road traffic accidents, or they have a palsy in their biting muscles, or a stroke, and their face can collapse, it also narrows, reducing the interpupillary distance. So there's some good evidence to suggest that the wider your interpupillary distance, or the width of your interpupillary distance, is under control by how much you chew and bite. And thus, some very deep structures within your face are affected by the muscles running down the side of the face, whereas that's transverse and these are vertical. So a complex relationship deep within the skull is going on.